Good morning! It has been a while, so I thought I would take you on a journey today as a second grade teacher and what I go through every day, setting up, preparing for my lessons, and preparing mentally for these seven and eight year olds. So um, right now I'm just fixing my standards, fixing a whiteboard that I have that I'm going to put spelling words on, and I don't think I have any copies to make. I try to get all my copies done on Friday or Monday morning for the rest of the week, and then I'm really kind of set to go. I just kind of have to organize a few things. I came in early. It's about six. No. So it's, I've already been here about 20 minutes, kind of getting my computer on, setting things up. It's 10 till 7, and usually I don't get here until about 7.15, 7.20-ish. And again, usually I'm all set to go, but um, this morning I wanted to come in early to kind of take you guys along with me and show you guys what it's like for me getting things ready in the morning. So. So I got here early yesterday as well to switch out my centers. I have all of my centers numbered one through six, and I got these bins from the dollar store. I think they were about $3.50, um, so Dollar General is actually where I got them at. This is a magic and math game called Shark Attack. If you haven't heard of Elementary Shenanigans and Hope King's, um, I guess Amy Lemons and Hope King's Magic and Math, you should totally do it. I made these cards. It's just adding and subtracting 10 and 100 cards. So they actually just roll the dice and then pick a card and they have to just add 10 or add 100. Um, very simple, because we're just introducing addition and number sense. Um, again, popping through doubles, that's a magic and math game where they just have to pick out the equation and answer it. This is a center that my team teacher found. Um, it's called adding any ways to score a touchdown, so they just pick a card and then they have to use a different strategy to solve it. These are just time coins where they match the time from an analog clock to a digital clock. One of my, um, the previous teacher that taught second grade in this room had these, so when they're finished with that activity, they'll go on to the time cards, or excuse me, time coins. And then this is just rolling the die, choosing their add-ins, and then solving, and right now, we're just focusing on decomposing the number and base 10. And then the last center is headbands with geometric shapes. So we just finished our geometry unit and that's just there for review. So that's basically what I do every morning is changing the calendar, changing my smart board, getting my standards set up just to make sure that they are matching my lessons. I just finished washing a coffee cup, so maybe later I will have some tea and I have my breakfast and I usually eat it here or along the way. Um, this is just an oatmeal bar that my mom made. She just stuck some oatmeal in a nine by nine pan with egg and cinnamon and 
called it a day. It's actually pretty good. So, cause I don't, I like oatmeal, but I don't like the consistency of regular oatmeal. So if you bake your oatmeal, like an oatmeal bar, maybe you will eat oatmeal more. <laughs> I don't know. I made sure that all my copies were ready. I'm checking my email now, getting my attendance link up because I am notorious for forgetting my attendance. We have to take attendance online. It's not like through our lunch count, which I wish it was, but it's done online. And yes, I always forget every day and we get emails about two o'clock every day that states, you haven't taken attendance today. One thing I've been really bad at the last, one thing I've been really bad at this second quarter is class dojo. I'm really good about like passing candy out and awarding candy to my kids and saying, you just earned a star answer. So go get a starburst and then that's how I reward my students. And I'll tell you, it's working, but it's not working. And I think I need to get back in the hang of doing dojo. And I kind of regret this, but in the beginning, I set the expectation of earning 30 dojo points in a week. And I wish I hadn't done that, but I needed to set the expectation. And the reason why I wish I hadn't done that is because now my, like my students have rarely gotten to 30 and Part, that's partially my fault because I'm not giving them dojo points and I need to I mean I shouldn't have to bribe them they should have like how do you instill as a teacher that intrinsic motivation like it's hard like it's up to the child to have it you can do so much to encourage them but it's still really up to the child to have that motivation within themselves to do well and to want to do well and to follow their teacher's directions or to learn the way that the teacher is teaching you at that moment. And then it's their responsibility that if it's not working, the child has to speak up or the parent needs to speak up. And I mean, there's only so many ways that you can teach certain topics. And I know teachers, me, I, you try to pick the best one, you show them different strategies, you show them different ways, you try to make it engaging. I mean, yesterday we did the magic and math shark snatchers to um, show that they always have to start with the largest number. And like, you don't even have to start with the largest number, but that's in order, just that little tweak of giving them a sh shark snatcher hat is what we did. Just that little bit of encouragement gives them a little bit of motivation. So. I'm gonna get back into class dojo because I looked at my spreadsheets and I can't believe the last time I did it was in December. And maybe that's really it. So I'm gonna fill you guys in um, at the end of the day with class dojo. And I know like you probably saw me bring it up <clears throat> on the smart board, but like I hardly ever remember to use it, but I have to remember, I have to. They're, I just, I just have to. Rambunctious, that's the correct word. They're rambunctious. All right, so it is almost 7.30. I'm really gonna make sure that my like desk is clear. I have a bookshelf, see, right here, yep. I'm gonna get that cleaned off a little bit. It's a little bit of a hot mess. Okay, bye. Y'all, do you see this? That massive tripod. I'm taking it home with me. My media specialist sent out an email that said like, free tripod. I was like, me. So I always try to make one of these videos, right? And I don't think I've ever completed a vlog in the last six months because I just get back at the end of the day frustrated or flustered or tired and just not motivated to make a video. So today went all right. It actually was the most learning we've done in the last two weeks and which says a lot right now. Um, and my patience is running thin, but that's just how it is right now. So I'm trying to engage them more. Um, offer them more rewards and it is working, but it's just very frustrating at the end of the day. Um, it's a little too chaotic for me. And I just sometimes don't feel like vlogging and I don't feel like talking because I don't have nearly any positive things to say. And that's not how I want to portray my kids or my teaching on camera. So um, I was going to go to the gym. Ian texted me and said he got home at 530. I have to go all the way down to my house, pick up the HelloFresh, go back to Ian's, make dinner, and then go back home. I think I might even stay a little bit later at Ian's because I've got to get report cards done. I won't be at school on Friday, so I will show you my sub plans and what I have planned for that. I'm going out of town for Nellie's birthday. We're gonna go skiing, I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, writing sub plans on top of having report cards due, 
and not just like entering grades and um because we have standard-based report cards but writing narratives like i have to write full-on narratives for each individual kid um, which i think is really great if i was a parent i would love it so i try to make them meaningful the best that i can and it just that requires a lot of time and effort and doing that to my stress is doing that is adding to my stress level which isn't good um but it's got to get done so i'm gonna quit complaining and just go and do it so um overall today was a good day instructionally um and behaviors were so i'll see you guys tomorrow